Hey YouTube, it's Shelly. Uh, it's been, well I think my the date on my last video was like June 30th, so that's like a, m a little bit over a month and a half ago since I made a video. And um, I just sat down and made like this 10 minute video and went back and listened to it and I was just like, God you sound so bitchy and whiny. <laughs> so I'm just like, I don't want to do that. It has been a trying summer. It has, it has sucked, but I'm, I'm done. I'm so done with um, complaining about my job or the lack of and um, all the other junk. Because you know what? It's not, it's not that bad. It's, it's not that bad. It's going to be okay. So anyway. Um, I don't know why I'm telling you that. I, I'm telling myself that. But the weight loss thing. Let's see. June 30th. Okay. There's my thing. June 30th, which is actually the video is already on there for June 30th. But I weighed 264. And then we went to... I can't really see this. Okay. July 7th, I lost 0.4. Took my total loss to 43.6 and then July 14th I gained a whopping four pounds um, I don't know 4th of July whatever cookouts I don't know uh, July 28th I gained another 1.2 um, August 4th I lost 0.8 last week I lost 0.6 and then tonight I gained 0.6 which, um, so, that, okay, so that, like my weight right now is 265.8 and my total loss is 41.2 pounds. And, um, my daughter's getting ready to come through this door. Hold on just a minute. Sorry. Um, so off and on my total, like, the whole summer has been like back and forth with the same losing five pounds, gaining five pounds, losing five pounds. And um, so I've pretty much maintained this summer um, right at 40 pounds, which I'm not going to get discouraged about that because, um, I don't know, it could have been a lot worse. It's not been a great summer, but um, it could have been a lot worse. The dog is barking, sorry. Um, so, let's see what's going on. I still have not found a job, but okay. I'm not going to whine about that anymore. Um, tomorrow, my friend, uh, one, of, one of my friends, close friends from high school, is coming down from Indianapolis, and her and I are going to the Grand Old Opry to see her, I'm thinking it's her nephew, um, play at the Grand Old Opry. His name is... Will Hogue, but honestly, I don't know who he is, <laughs> and um, I probably ought to Google that before I go and see him, I don't know, see what, I mean, of course, it's like country music, it's the Grand Ole Opry, but um, I don't know much about him. Um, what is going on? Not much going on around here. Um... We've had a lot of cookouts this summer. We've had, you know, a company coming down and visit and staying and stuff. And, um, so I think that that's probably contributed the most to the whole weight loss yo-yo thing. Um, because, you know, cookouts, if we have them here, I can fix stuff that I can eat. But it's just kind of hard to regulate it when you go to somebody else's house. So, um, I just try to eat in moderation, I guess. Small servings and all that kind of stuff. Um, I did find a recipe, and I'll put a link to it below. If any of you all like uh, potato salad, I don't care for mayonnaise potato salad. And my mom apparently made, like, the best potato salad, mayonnaise potato salad. And everybody loved her potato salad. And... She didn't, she never had a recipe written down for it or anything. And so I don't even, I don't know how to make it now. But, um, I found a recipe online and it was on Food Network and I'll put the link to it down here if you all watch Sunny Anderson. 
Um, it is for like a vinegar based potato salad and it has like when you're done her thing said that it had like eight servings in it when I made it okay I'll be right back okay sorry about that um the potato salad the recipe calls for uh, it it makes six to eight servings but the the bowl that I made there was like five people here eating it and we all had two servings from it so um I guess a serving like according to the recipe would be probably about a cup and um, if you go by the recipe it is like six points on Weight Watchers and if you go by you know like what we actually ate it's five points and according to Weight Watchers like mayonnaise potato salad for a half a cup is eight points I think is what I read so technically this um, potato salad, this vinegar potato salad is um, uh, probably, I don't know, a little less than half the calories of mayonnaise potato salad. So if you're into the whole calorie thing, you can, I don't know, figure it up that way from the recipe, I guess. But um, it is very, very good. It even has, um, you chop up jalapenos and put in it, and oh my gosh, it was really, really good. So, um, if you want like an alternative recipe, maybe to take to family reunions or pitch-ins or whatever, last cook out of the summer, you might want to try it. It's very, very tasty, and I'll put the link right down there so uh, you can access that. Um, I don't know. I don't think I have anything else to say. <laughs> I hope everybody is having a great summer, end of the summer. I hope you're getting out and being active. These last few, like the last week here in Kentucky has been awesome because it's been really cool and we've been able to get out and walk when it's not cool outside. Um, Stephanie and I usually do exercise videos because Shelly don't do no heat. <laughs> I'm just not into like having a stroke out in the middle of a park or something. So um, we'll do our exercise videos at home or whatever, but we still keep the cardio up. And um, I've been doing exercise probably about like five days a week, trying to keep it up to that, usually about an hour a day. And uh, But I'm feeling like I need to kick that up. I'm, I'm just feeling like, I, I, I feel like I can kick it up. Like, it's just not, like I'm at this point where, um, I mean, I know, like, we we found a new place to walk up in town and um it's a cemetery and one loop around the outer perimeter of the cemetery or drive or whatever is one mile and um it's lots of hills and stuff and oh my god it has killed me my uh we started walking it tuesday maybe and um, when I got home, my shins and my thighs, I mean, everything hurt. My, all, my whole legs hurt. And we've been walking, I don't know, for a long time. I mean, that, that's the first time that anything has hurt. And I think it's because of all the hills that are in this place, up and down. And, um, and then I went back. I didn't do, I didn't walk yesterday because my legs were hurting so bad. But I went back this morning after I dropped my daughter off at school. And I did two miles over there by myself. And um, my legs are hurting right now. So, you know, I th it's... I think we got to change things up a little bit to work different muscle groups and stuff like that. And that helps. But I'm just kind of feeling like I'm at this plateau or whatever. Like, I'm at a point where I could crank it up a little bit. And... There's a part of me that wants to, like, start running. <laughs> this is, I mean, I feel like I've just analyzed the crap out of this, and it sounds so stupid. But I kind of want to start running, but I'm kind of scared to start running because, you know, as big as I am, I've never been a runner ever in my life. And, um, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. But I'll keep you updated. So anyways, I hope everybody's getting out there and exercising and, and enjoying the summer and enjoying being outside and all that kind of stuff. And um, You can do this. If I can do this, you can do this. 
and I'm you know kind of at a standstill right now but I can do this so um, don't get discouraged don't stop don't let life screw you up don't do it just keep going and you can do this talk to you later bye